Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Path of Exile. We're continuing our campaign as the Shadow Assassin. I have decided to go ahead and switch to my Blade Vortex build. It's just, it seems a little bit more survivable and does a little bit better of a job taking out, taking things down as a little bit higher DPS. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Our plan is we need to head over to the back to the Lunaris Temple, finish getting the Moon Orb so that we can get it as the uh, pair with our Sun Orb that we've already gotten. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. Um, I'm going to say that uh, even though I am technically right back from my weekend, I have another weekend happening here in just a minute. And of course, there's a guy outside right now who has to be making noise. Um, so if you hear some random slang, uh, slapping of noises, it's because there's somebody out there unloading. Um, so anyways, uh, and the release, the new rele uh, the release of the new map Sunder Baton for uh, Hunter Call of the Wild is coming out tomorrow. And I'm going to need to put out some extra content for that, uh, it being such a high profile event. So I'm um, going to be recording a couple of episodes today. Let's see, today and tomorrow. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to split my, uh, the, ep the extra episodes that I would normally have to record over a weekend. So I'm going to be doing a couple of extra ones today and a couple of extra ones tomorrow. Now, working on uh, trying to find our... I would imagine that the moon orb is down here in level two. Normally you only have two levels in most of these kind of things. I recently picked up a skill that is giving me elusive on critical hits. And because I'm using the, the uh, blade vortex and I'm getting so many hits, I have a lot more chances to actually critically hit. It's, at least that's, a, that's how I'm assuming it works. So I have that in addition to my Withering Step, which gives me the ability to become elusive, as well as increase my damage from my Poison ability. So we should be moving around the map a lot faster than... We should be moving around... Ooh, Divine Mana Flask. What? I'm curious about that. 1,400 mana over that many seconds? Okay, I can live with that. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Come on. Oh, I also have uh, support skills and passive tree skills that allow me to generate multiple vortexes at the same, multiple more vortex charges at the same time, as well as, um, let me see, hold on, Scepter, I don't think there's anything here that is useful for this character, so we're going to go ahead and keep going, as well as increasing the duration of how long those last. So, yeah, completely different mechanics as to how our previous iterations of this character have worked, but uh, I find that I do a better job of uh, getting through ma getting through the levels and stuff with this build than I do with the other stuff. Okay, so... Try to get ourselves finding our goal here it seems like it seems it seems like I'm going every way but the right way take that Fortunately, we didn't find it there. Just doing my best to try to keep my blade vortex charges up as high as I can. Lost track of it. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Oh well. 
Helps to get my blade vortex back up. Duh. I zone out sometimes. I, it's just the way that I work. It's the way my brain works. Okay. I'm guessing we probably have to fight our way. Oh. I'm guessing we probably have to go back up to the very top where the where we fought what's her face before. This way? There we go. This is all looking familiar. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Okay, let's go up the portal and see if we have to fight anything, or... Yeah, I figured we probably had to fight something. Oh, there's a recipe over here. Minions rank one. Viewed one. I'll take that moon orb. Take the moon orb to the harbor bridge. We also need to take the sun orb to the harbor bridge. And then there's the high gardens. So we'll go ahead and go back to town. Make sure we don't have anything that we need to get rid of. How you doing? We got the sun orb and the moon orb. Oops. I always forget you can't move anything when you're in the cell menu, which is kind of dumb as far as I'm concerned, but whatever. Okay, so we need to go to the high gardens. I don't know where that is. Uh, harbor Bridge, Harbor Bridge, and then the Reflect... Alright, so let's go ahead and go over here and do that. Um, so we gotta find our way to the High Gardens through via the bathhouse. Nice to get the random elusive every once in a while. Just because I get a critical hit. Another good find. Oh no! Don't die. Happens so fast. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Is this going to be our exit? The High Gardens, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so now we got to kill some thing here. Okay, so the only problem with having this ability is that I can't use it whilst I'm elusive. No, no. Please don't do that. Thank you. Alright, just gotta try to stay on top of my charges, too. Like, I get... I, I have a hard time with multitasking, so... When I get in the middle of a bunch of stuff, I'll forget to start... to use my, uh... Oh, there we go. I'll forget to use my actual ability there. Keep my blade vortex charges up. I'm not necessarily trying to keep them all the way up at 10. I mean, obviously that's preferable, but Just need a moment to catch I have to stop mind. every two seconds to keep them up at 10. So eight, eight is pretty good, and it minimizes the amount of times I have to stop. Just gotta find Yogol, 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 however you say the name. I got that.
Nope, nope. Ugh. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Stand still for too long. It's a good. Uh, I should have allocated my skill point. I gotta bring. I gotta bring up my. Uh, I gotta bring up my thing anyway. My guide. I'm not exactly sure what we're working on right now. Let's see. Do I have anything that I'm clearly working on? I think I'm heading over in this direction, but uh, give me a second to pull up my guide because I forgot to do that. History. Where is my Blade Vortex Assassin? Let's scroll down to our list here. We're looking at the... Uh, what am I working on here? Uh, down here, down there. Got all of that, got all of that. We're coming over this way, I think, to grab this intuition here, right? Yes. So we'll go ahead and grab that, since that's an easy thing to grab. Level up our gym. If I could actually move. Keep getting these movement impairing effects, and as soon as that happens, it really start it really makes it much easier for me to get hit, which makes the damage much more likely. I'll stand in the fire. That would help too. Okay, over this way. know what I'm looking for at this at this point, other than just trying to find whoever this monster is. Well, okay, is this going to be one of those things where I have to go inside a place to find it? Yeah, I think this is probably what we're looking for. The pools of terror. No, 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 no. Enough with the freaking damage, please. Get out of the soup there. Of course, it died right as I did. Hugo. In oh well. The mirrors are thus shattered. <clears throat> Hugo was a court. So we have another option over here now. Oh wait, I think we already had this. Grukthal, Abareth, Hugo. You and your minions take fifty percent reduced reflected and fifty. Okay, now I think I'm happy with what we have. So we can go back to town, talk to Hargan to get our reward, and then we can move on to the main part of the story that we're trying to get it trying to get so done. Was. I'll take that. So now I gotta figure out where I'm trying to go next. Um, so the guide. Let's see. 
the guide wants us to go there at some point. We've already got Bell Suppression Mastery. Do we already have that? It gets harder to tell where everything is as you get further along in these. We got that. We don't have that. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm confused. Oh, that's this here. Uh, that's this here. And then we go down this way to get to this here. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, cool. So now we need to go to the harbor bridge. Yo. died. Duh. Like, why am I... Okay. Try to... Come on, let me... <laughs> Mildly annoying, but that's our... This way. And I don't even really. Oh, there we go. That works. I don't even really know where the bridge is going to be because obviously I haven't been in here. So I'm just going to keep going up the right side of the map, hoping that maybe I get lucky and it happens to be there. Ugh. See, just gonna keep going around the side, I guess, and hope that we find what we're looking for. Because unfortunately, that side of the map took us to the temple. And we still need to get to the other side there, because there's another exit from here. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Why am I not able to use this? Won't let me go down the thing there. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. All right. where we started. Now, oh, there we go. This is what we're looking for. Nope, that's the bathhouse. That doesn't help me either. Forgot that there was a third exit here. Duh. Well, we'll just keep going around the edges again and hope that we find what we're looking for.
Ah, here we go. The Harbor Bridge, finally. Sun Orb and the Moon Orb to Harbor Bridge. Uh, what was that in the drop? Oh, let me move, please. Dude, let me move. I really can't stand that. I am not a fan of things that prevent you from being able to move. Crap. What's going on here? I wasn't paying attention. That's gonna... Too many things going on for me. <laughs> Let me move, please. Out of the fire, get out of the fire. For standing still. Hey, that works. Solaris, Lunaris. I don't think either of those help me. None of this really helps me either. I'm gonna pick it all up anyways, though, because we're probably going back to town. And pass beyond I need this more human age. Sun and moon return to their rightful places, leaving our path now clear. Highgate lies ahead, Beast Slayer, and a debt that is long overdue. On this road, there are the goddesses of Marakith to be reckoned with, and they will not take kindly to our endeavor. Regardless, I must enter the corpse of my beloved beast and wrest our sliver of hope from the life you so blindly took. There is no prophecy nor portent, no epic nor allegory that can promise your survival in this great journey of ours. For despite your trappings, you remain most certainly, irrevocably, mortal. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, additional physical damage reduction for each nearby enemy up to 8%. Increase movement speed for each... N Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Additional damage reduction while there is only one enemy nearby. 20% chance to take less area damage from... 50% less da area damage from hits. Um, I kind of like that, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. All right, so I guess we're going back into the area where we were before. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Let's get our charges going here. Oh, good. We can go back to town real quick. So we'll head back over here, sell off all the stuff that we picked up. There is nothing else. Um, we'll identify that. Yeah, again, unfortunately, 
and none of these stuff have this none of the stuff has the sockets that I need so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna junk them all right, I think we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click the join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a membership but would still like to help out the channel, you can always leave, a, uh, leave YouTube's version of a tip with that join button. Uh, direct contributions such as these are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig which is the dream so again thank you very much for your time hope you enjoyed the episode be sure to come back for the next one and i'll see you then